Welcome to Python 3 Beginner 6 Iteration. Every video will have all slideshows and code available in the description. Iteration is part of the third concept of programming, which is repetition. Repetition is the process of repeating blocks of code, over and over. This could be a defined amount or until a certain, certain condition is met. Python has two ways of repeating code, the for loop and the while loop. The for loop is used to iterate over a specific number of times, which in Python is a list. We can use the function range, which takes a number as a parameter, which will create a list of numbers up to that number, but not including that number. Then we can use the for loop syntax as follows. For step, and step is a variable that we create, in range 5 colon, and then we tab in to let the for loop know that we've got a block of code, and we type print and then we print out the step, current step. So this will print out step uh, five times. So starting at zero, and it will increase to one, to two, to three, and then to four, and it will finish. Okay, so let's look at how a for loop can be used. Let's create a for loop to print out the numbers zero to four. Let's create a new toot6.py file. So we'll come back over to Ubuntu, and let's create our file. So vim toot6.py. Now inside our file we're going to create our main function to keep up our good practices. So def main brackets colon. Then inside our main function we're going to create our for loop. So for step and step is the variable we create remember in range and inside the range we want to count from 0 to 4. So that's 5 so we put in 5. So that'll count from 0 up to 5, but not including 5. Now we can do colon, and now we're going to indent into our main, and we're going to indent into our for loop. Okay, so inside our for loop, we're going to print, and print step. So this will print the step after each iteration of the for loop. Okay, so now that we've done our main function, let's tell Python to use our main function. So if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equal to open quotes underscore underscore main underscore underscore quotes colon we're gonna run main okay so we've created our code file let's save and quit this and let's try running it so we want to do python 3 toot6.py and when we run this we get 0 1 2 3 and 4 simple and elegant. Okay, so let's let's create a list of strings and print them all out. We'll create a list and add it to our existing program. Okay, so let's jump back over and let's edit our toot6.py. Now we're going to leave our first for loop in here and we're going to add in another one inside our main. So what we're going to do first is create our list of words so words equals and open up with square brackets because this is a list and then inside uh, we're going to create a string for each word so cat comma bat comma hat comma rat comma and we'll do sat and we close off our square brackets and that will create us a list of words. Now we can iterate over that list of words. So let's do for word. So we're going to create a variable called word in the list words colon and now we're going to print out the word. So print word. Now this will step over our list of words and we'll put put each word into our variable word. Okay, so let's save this and try running it. So python3 toot6.py and when we run this we see we get our 0 to 4 that we did earlier and we get our cat, bat, hat, rat and sat. It's just that simple. Okay, let's have a look at while loops. So the while loop is for repeating a block of code until the boolean expression is false. So the while expression is true, keep repeating the code. 
So let's create a while loop that asks the user to input a value greater than zero. If they don't, we'll ask them again. So editing our existing program, let's add a while loop. So vim to six.py. Now we're going to add a while loop after our fours. So a line down, we're going to create a variable called num. And we're going to make num equal to zero to start with. Now we're going to write our while loop. So the syntax for a while loop is the word while. And then we have a Boolean expression similar to our if statement. So while num is less than or equal to zero, colon, we're going to run this block of code. So this block of code is just going to be one line. So num equals int, open bracket, input, open bracket, please enter a positive integer, colon, close quotes, and close off our brackets. So what this while is going to do is while the number is zero or less, it's going to keep asking them for a positive integer. Okay, let's write quit and try running this. So we're going to do python 3 toot 6 dot pi. Now we get our 0 to 4 again and our cat to sat. And now we get please enter a positive integer. So if we enter 0, it'll ask us again. If we enter 0 again, it'll ask us again. If we put in a negative number like negative 2, we get asked again. But if we put in a positive number like 2, we get the program ends. So it exits out of the while loop. Okay, so a while is useful here because we don't know how many times the user is going to get it wrong. Okay, so with while loops, there is the danger of infinite loops, meaning the loop that never ends. If we want, if we, uh, if we want, we can make a while loop go forever until it is interrupted by the keyboard with the shortcut Control Z. Okay, so let's make one for fun. We're going to create a while that prints hello an infinite amount of times. Okay, so let's come back over and we'll edit our current program. So vim toot6.py. Okay, now after all of our wilds are done, we're going to create an infinite loop. So we're going to type while. We're going to just hard code true. So while true, colon, and then we're going to run this block of code. And inside this block of code, we're just going to print hello close quotes and close off our print. Now because this expression will always be true, the program will print he hello indefinitely until, the until it was interrupted. Okay, so let's run this and we'll just have a look at what it looks like. So Python 3, toot6.py, and we get our outputs, please enter a positive integer, and I'll put 2, and then we see we get hello, and it just keeps on printing out hello. So to interrupt this, we can use Control c Oop, or Control z Nope, there we go, control Z, and that'll exit out. Okay, so I should mention that you don't want this to happen. <laughs> and this concludes our look at iteration in Python. Don't fear if you don't remember all of this. You can easily come back and rewatch the video to consolidate all of the information. If you have any questions and you can't find the answer after a quick Google search, feel free to leave it in the comments. Next, we'll be covering file input and output. Thank you for watching.